always, let's start out with our cleansing breaths. Let's do the first one. Slowly through your nose. Using your abdominals. Push back against <coughs> those lungs. Out so some of those impurities. Good. <clears throat> do it for as long as you want to. And when you get ready to stop, feel what you've done and get a good deep breath. And then let's make that a little deeper by opening our mouth and turning it into a, a sort of a call. <laughs> carbon dioxide, so let's just blow for as long as we can, like you're blowing up a balloon. Take a breath and blow. serious about this and do the wine that really will get us good strong cleansing deep breath stick out your tongue bug out your eyes and <laughs> <out> the screen <coughs> called the silent scream. It's the same thing we just did. We're doing it to cleanse our minds. <laughs> to some alternate nostril breathing. With your right hand, your thumb is on your right nostril, your ring finger is on your left nostril, the other two fingers are up on the bridge of your nose. Press with your ring finger, open up that right nostril and inhale through it. Hold that breath in your lungs for the same length of time that you inhale. Now exhale through just the left nostril. You're pressing with your thumb on the right nostril. Exhale for as long as you can. When you finish exhaling, Inhale back through that left nostril. It's open there waiting for you to inhale through. Close your nose again. Hold that air in your lungs for the same length of time that you inhale through that nostril. And then exhale through that right nostril for as long as you can. Just keep exhaling. Try to exhale twice as long as you inhale. That's one round of alternate nostril breathing. Let's do another one. Inhale through that right nostril. Count to see how long you inhale. Close your nose for that same length of time. Exhale through just your left nostril. Count again. See if you can exhale twice as long as you inhale. When you're ready, inhale through that left nostril. Close your nose. Hold that air in your lungs. Exhale through that right nostril for as long as you can. Let's do one more round. Just on your own. Inhale as long as you want to, as long as you can. Remember that you're going to hold that air in your lungs for that same length of time. And then remember that when you're exhaling, you're exhaling through just that left nostril. See how long you exhale. When you're ready, inhale. Start your count off. Inhale, inhale. You've got your lungs full. Close your nose. Hold that air in your lungs. When you're ready to exhale, you're going to be exhaling through that right nostril for as long as you can. When you finish your exhalation, just relax, breathe through both nostrils, and you'll see that they should both be open by now. One of them was a little stuffy to begin with. They should be open. Shoulders up, back, and down. Let your head fall. Just let your neck relax. 
feel that with your chin down against your chest a little. Just breathe there for a moment. When you're ready, slowly roll your head to your right shoulder and relax right there. Just feel that and breathe there for a moment. Just feel that stretch on the left side of your neck. Feel the right side of your neck relaxing. And now when you get ready to roll to your back, roll the back of your head to your spine and just relax there. With the back of your neck relaxed, feel that stretch in the front of your throat, in the front of your neck. Close your teeth and you'll feel it a little more. And breathe. You're breathing now. You're not holding your breath ever when you're doing yoga. You're always breathing. Now, when you get ready to roll to that left shoulder, feel that stretch on the right side of your neck. Feel that relaxation on the left. You can breathe there for a while. There you go. And go on and turn your head. <clears throat> and drop your head down again. Now, just relax. Feel that. And this time, let's kind of make our breathing go along with our neck roll. Roll to the right. Start to inhale as you roll across your back. Feel that. Inhale all the way around. Now your head is going down toward your left shoulder. You can start exhaling. And you can just exhale across your chest. So that's one way you can do it. If you want, you can stop along the way or you can roll matching your breathing to the roll of your head. So you've done as many of those as you want to. Just stop, relax completely, feel the effects of doing that neck roll. Get you a good deep breath and let's go around to the other side this time. Drop your head, relax your neck, roll to the left shoulder. Feel that stretch on the right side of your neck. If you stay there, you know you're going to be breathing. You can stay there for a while. Or if you're rolling across your back, you're inhaling. When you get to that right shoulder, hang there for long enough to feel that stretch on the left side of your neck <clears throat> and the relaxation on the right. And then when you roll across your chest, you're exhaling. So do as many of those neck rolls as you want to. <clears throat> you can stop anytime or you can keep going after I stop. Just get you a good deep breath. Feel the effects. Notice how your neck feels now when you're doing those neck rolls. Breathe into it. Relax. And let's do some shoulder rolls. Inhale as you pull your shoulders together in front of you and up toward your ears. Exhale as you roll your shoulders back and down. Feel that. Now you might pick up your arms and just pull your arms up with your shoulders and pull back when you pull your shoulders back. Feel that. Make it as extreme as you want to or as minimal as you like. Whatever, however feels good to you is what, what you want to do with all of these <clears throat> positions that we do. Yoga meets you where you are, so you just do what feels right for your body. When you're finished with those shoulder rolls, just stop, get you a good deep breath, and then let's pull back this time. Pull way back and up towards your ears while you're inhaling. Pull forward and down while you're exhaling. Feel that. Inhale, pulling way back, up high. Exhale, pulling way forward and down low as you're exhaling. Do as many of those as you care to. When you're ready to stop, feel your shoulders. Notice what you did, how they responded. Get your good deep breath and relax. Let go. Let's do the staff position. Stretch your legs out in front of you and do this slowly. If you've been sitting with your knees bent, then have your legs slowly come out in front of you. Or if you've already got your legs out there, just feel the back of your legs against the floor. Feel your seat bones on the floor. <coughs> Good deep breath. Notice your shoulders now. Pull your shoulders up, back, and down a little bit. And feel that your spine is being as straight as it can be from the back of your head all the way down to the end of your spine. Feel it like a stiff staff. Feel that? Your legs are also like a couple of staffs. Feel that? Now let's inhale as we raise our arms up and just sit here for a moment with your 
arms out in front of you, right over your legs, and just breathe and feel what your body is like. It's a back <coughs> position. And then we're going to turn this into a forward bend because now we're going to exhale as we lean back. Feel those abdominals holding on to you while you pull you back as far as you can. And then inhale as you try to reach for the ceiling. Try to reach the ceiling. Come on, reach for the ceiling. Now exhale as you're going out in front of you and try to reach that wall over there in front of you. And then exhale on down until you're trying to reach your feet. And if you don't reach your feet, it's the same thing that you didn't do when you didn't reach the ceiling or you didn't reach the other wall. It doesn't matter. You just reach for it and then drop. Drop your head down. Relax your neck. Relax your arms. Let your body just fall toward your legs. Let your elbows fall toward the floor. You can don't try to hold on to your legs. Just let your hands and arms relax. Let your neck relax. You tell your neck to relax and it will. And then you feel the rest of your body. Notice what's going on. How the backs of your legs feel. And if they're uncomfortable, then bend your knees. Bring your knees up closer to you if you're, if you're, if you're not comfortable. Because don't let it hurt. But if you would like to, you can just relax a little deeper into this position because all you have to do is tell your neck to relax again and it will and you'll get a little closer to your legs. If you tell your body to relax, it, it will. You may think it's relaxed, but it, it'll relax again if you tell it to. When you get ready to roll out of that, keep your head down, relax your neck, keep it relaxed, roll out from just the bottom of your spine. Feel yourself coming up one vertebrae at a time, like you're just stacking them up, one on top of the other. You're rolling up about the middle of your back. Now you feel your shoulders coming up. Your arms are relaxed, so your hands are just sliding up your legs. When your shoulders get up, back, and down, your head is up. How about that? Feel that. Now, breathe into your body and feel what your body is telling you. What do your feet and legs feel like? How do your arms and hands feel? How does your spine feel? Breathe into that. <clears throat> Giving yourself at least 10 seconds after we do a position is, import, is as important as staying in the position for 10 seconds or so. Anytime that you do a position, you want to be sure that when you come out of it, you're thinking about how you felt when you were doing it. Then you think about how you're feeling now that it's over and you're deciding if you ever want to do that again. And that's one of the ways that we practice living our lives. If we, everything we do, we kind of think about it and process it and say, is that something I ever want to do again or not? So think about that. Deep breath. Okay, let's do the mid thigh stretch. Bottoms of your feet together. You're sitting up as straight as you can. So you want to be sitting like you were on a horse, like you're sitting forward in the saddle. Feel your sit bones coming like you're getting your weight on the front part of your sit bones. And just pull your feet back easily, just enough to be, feel like if you're getting a little bend in your knees, you want to take care of your knees, don't hurt your knees. And you don't want anything to hurt. So if it hurts, don't do it. You've already gone too far. If it starts to hurt, you need to back off a little bit. So breathe. Pull your feet in as close to you as you want to. Pull your shoulders up, back, and down. Stretch your neck. Cast your eyes down. You should either have your eyes closed or you should have them just looking, staring down at the space between your, the end of your nose and your mouth. But you want your shoulders back and down. You want your chin parallel to the floor. Now, you want to think about sucking your belly in. Pull your belly back toward your spine like you're trying to make your navel touch your spinal cord. Feel that. Now, see if you can tighten your sphincter muscles. Just do those kegels. Just tighten those muscles as tight as you can. Now what all are you thinking about? You've got several things. You're pulling your knees down. You're tightening your sphincter muscles. You're sucking in your belly. You're tightening your hips. You've got your chin up. You're breathing. You're thinking about breathing. So breathe. Now, you can come out of this at any time, but if it feels good to you, you can stay in it when I start talking about coming out. I'm coming out. I'm relaxed.
relaxed my legs, relaxed my hands. I roll my wrist around a little bit. I pick my knees up and roll my ankles around a little bit. But you do whatever feels good to you. Stay in it as long as it feels good to you. Come out when you need to. Get a good deep breath. Now, let's just lean back for a minute. Just stretch your legs out in front of you. Lean back on your hands. Arch your chest a little. Let your head drop back behind you. Just feel that. When you're ready to come out of that, raise your head up. Relax your arms. Then from over that, when you're ready to move on, let's get in tabletop position. Move slowly. Notice what muscles you're using to get your body to come up on all fours. Get your knees under your hips. Get your hands right under your shoulders. You want your wrist under your shoulders. You want your knees under your hips. So in other words, your arms are not slanted and your legs are not slanted. It's like a table leg. It's like you're like making a tabletop. Now, look up at the ceiling, inhaling, and let your back sag. Relax your back while you're inhaling, looking at the ceiling. When you get ready to exhale, pull your chin in and suck up your belly and tighten your hips and push your back up like an old cat. You've exhaled, let's inhale again. Look up. When you're looking up, you're inhaling. When you're exhaling, you're looking down and sucking up your belly, pulling your chin in. Look up again, inhaling. Look all the way up, and when you get up there, try to pick up one leg and pull it out behind you. You're breathing. Don't hold your breath. When you get ready to come out of that, exhale. You can bring that knee up to your chin if you wanted to, or you can just set it down in the floor. Now, get back on all fours on that tabletop again. Feel it. Relax from it. Let your back sag. Look up at the ceiling. Arch your back again. Exhaling when you put your back up. Look up again. Inhaling when you look up. And let's raise that other leg. Pull that other leg up as you look up. Now you're breathing. If you're going to stay here for any length of time, you're going to breathe. But when you get ready to exhale, bring that knee in. And you can bring it all the way to your forehead or your chin, or you can set it right down on the floor. Get back in that tabletop again. Feel it. Look up. Inhaling, let your back sag, arch your back, suck up your belly, tuck in your chin, pull up that right leg, and lift that left hand if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if it feels good to you, try that. And you can hold it as long as you like, or you can just try it and then get your hand right back down if you wanted to. And exhale, and that hand and knee go down. Take you a good deep breath, and what are you doing when you're inhaling? You're looking up. Inhale, looking up. Arch your back again, suck up your belly, tuck in your chin, push your back up. Inhale as you look up, and raise that other leg, and pull out the opposite arm. Feel that. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Hold it as long, hold your position as long as you want to, but don't hold your breath at all. When you're ready to come out of that, Set your hand back down, put your knee down, get a good deep breath, and exhale as you get back into the pose of the child. Just by bending your hips, get your hips back on your heels, put your head down on your hands, and relax. That's the pose of the child. You can use this position anytime when you get tired or when you don't want to do the position we're doing, or just to relax. So feel this. Notice how. Now, get back with your hands on the floor in front of your knees. Turn your toes under. You're on your knees, but the bottoms of your toes now are, are turned under. And we're going to do the downward dog. Take a breath. Exhale when you pick your hips up. Put your hips up in the air. And you can do with your feet whatever feels good to you. If you wanted to walk them back away from your hands a little bit, or if you want to walk them up closer, but you're trying to get your heels to come down toward the floor. If you feel that pull in the back of your legs, that's far down enough. 
get your heels. Now you want to have your ears between your arms. And then you want to push your tailbone up toward the ceiling. You're doing all of that to do the downward dog. Put, keep your hands into the floor. Keep your feet on the floor with your heels pushing down. Keep your, heel, your hips pushing up toward the ceiling. Keep your ears between your arms and you'll have a good straight back. You can just kind of gaze at your knees and you'll be in a good downward dog. Stay there as long as you want to. You can stay here for 30 seconds if you like. When you get ready to come out of the downward dog, exhale and pull your knees apart. Pull your heels together and your knees apart. Try to get your knees on either side of your mat and then stretch your hands up like you're walking your hands up to the front end of your mat. Put the tops of your feet down on the floor and get your hips back down near your heels. And when you do that, you're going to feel your chest go down toward the floor. And that's called a melting heart. So just see what that feels like. You can just let your chest down. You can turn your head to the side if you wanted to. Or you can have your chin on the floor. You can put your forehead on the floor. Just let your neck and head do what it wants to do. But notice what you're doing about getting those knees apart to get that hip spread and get your hips back on your heels. When you've been there as long as you want to be there, just start walking up to the end of your mat with your hands. Just like a, crawl, like a crawling baby. Just crawl up there until you've got your belly down and your elbows are just about near your chest and you're looking up relax your feet and legs look up at the ceiling and you're doing the sphinx feel that see if you feel like a sphinx breathe relax take a breath and come out of that drop your chest Exhaling as your chest goes down. Inhale as you pull your arms back behind you. Turn your head to the side as you exhale. And just let your body rest for a minute. When you get ready to turn over, notice every move that you make as you go over. It's not like you're in bed rolling over when you just flip over. This is yoga, so you're paying attention to every muscle that you use as you get from your front of your body on your mat to the back of your body on your mat. Notice how you're doing this. Feel it. And once you get down on your back, see what it's like. See how your body feels about being on the mat. It may be that we've worked at bending our backs forward and back over, over and over again. So it may be that your back needed to rest a little bit. It might rest better if you bend your knees. Bend your knees and let your back settle into the floor and feel that. And then hug your knees. Pull your knees up to you and just give a good hug. Breathe. Exhale. Feel that. Let your knees kind of tip to the right a little bit and then tip over to the left a little bit. Just gently let your body sway back and forth by moving your knees to the right and to the left. And then when you're ready, just stop with your knees there in the center. Place your arms out to the sides. And then we're going to do some little knee circles. You've got your knees up to your chest pull around to the left a little bit. Now pull your feet down toward the floor a little. Pull your knees up to the right a little and back to your chest. Notice how you're breathing when you do this. You might be able to exhale as the knees go away from you and inhale when they come to you. Or it may be just the opposite. You may feel like exhaling when your knees get up close and inhaling when they come away from you. Notice that. Let your body talk to you and tell you what to do. When you get finished with that circle, rest a minute. Feel your back against the floor. Get your knees up there on your chest. Now pull them to the right this time. Pull your feet to the floor. Pull your knees to the left and back up to your chest. And just see how big you can make your circle. 
make a great big circle with your knees going in that direction that you got to go on out. Feel that. Notice where you want to breathe. Notice where you want to exhale. Feel that. When you finish, take a breath, exhale, put your feet down on the floor, and see about picking your hips up off the floor. Keep your chin locked in toward your jugular notch. Pick your hips up if you can. Now, it may be that you need to press your hands against the floor to pick your hips up, or you might need to make a fist with your hands under your body and press your arms against the floor and pick your hips up. You might even need to pick your hips up in your hands. Or some people can hold on to their ankles and pick their hips up. If they're your hips, you work with them in the way that is right for you. These yoga positions will meet you right where you are. Find out what you can do about getting your hips up off the floor. Now set them right back down. Just roll your back down until your hips are on the floor. Spread your knees out and see if you can just hold them to your feet. We do things in yoga that you've been told not to do in public. You're not in public. Pull your knees apart, get your feet, hang on to your feet, spread your feet out, hold on to them, and keep doing that for a while. Just keep that up, unless you want to do the plow. If you're going to do the plow, you're going to pick your feet up, pick your hips up, and have, let your feet go back behind you. You're keeping your chin into your jugular notch, but if you don't want to pick your hips up and go into the plow, just keep doing that happy baby. And if you're going into the plow, be sure you don't turn your head to one side or the other. Keep your chin in toward your jugular notch. Walk your hands up your back until your feet come back behind you and get your feet on the floor. Once your feet get on the floor, the weight of your legs and feet are gonna help keep your body, your bottom up. So you can bring your hands around over your head and you can touch your feet again. You'll be in the happy baby with your feet back behind you. Or you can be in the alternate plow by just bending your knees, let your knees come down toward your ears, lay your hands up over the back of your legs, and be in the alternate plow. And you can hold that as long as you want to. But we're leaving some folks in the happy baby a long time, so maybe we need to come out of the plow, and when we come out of the plow, we roll down, let our head slide as it comes down, and we're putting our feet back up toward the ceiling, one vertebra at a time as you roll out of that plow, keeping your head down on the, on the mat. And when your feet are up, you're back in the happy baby again with everybody else. Feel that stretch. When we're ready to let our feet come down, we're gonna relax our arms and leave our legs straight as our heels come down to the floor. Try that, and if it doesn't work and you need to bend your knees, bend your knees to let your feet come down. But if you can let your legs be straight, you use a few more um, muscles in your abdominals when you're coming down. When your heels touch is when you can relax. Just relax, get a good deep breath, feel the effects. Deep breath, slowly roll over again. And we're gonna see about doing it for Cobra. When you slowly roll over, notice every move that you make to get back on your mat. Put your chin down, put your hands down beside you. Have your feet and legs touching. Good, Good deep breath. Bring your hands around under near your shoulders. <clears throat> Have your elbows close to your body. Inhale as you pull your head up and push up. And it may be that you need to get back in that sphinx again. If this, if you're not able to do the cobra, don't worry, just be in the sphinx. But if you're able to, straighten your arms out as you pull yourself up. Your pelvis stays on the floor, but your head goes back toward your heels. You got your feet and legs together. You're pushing with your arms until if you try to straighten your arms out and they don't want to straighten out, just leave them bent. It's fine. Breathe. Feel. 
feel that comfort. Think about how you feel. That back bent, if that's too much for your back, we stay in the Sphinx. When we're ready to come out, we're exhaling when we come down. And we take a breath, put our hands back behind us, lower our head, bring our head to the side, exhale, just relax and breathe. Feel that. Let your body go. Feel the effects. Okay, relax with your hands down beside you. Your chin is on the floor. We're gonna do the half locust. So as you inhale, just pick up your right leg. Pull it up into the air. That's the half locust. Hold that, but don't hold your breath. Feel it. Breathe. Notice what you're doing. You're not using your upper body. Your arms are relaxed. You're not pushing with your arm. You're just pushing with that left leg that's on the floor and pulling with that right leg that's in the air. And let all the rest of your body relax. You can even relax your neck a little bit. When you're ready to come out of that, exhale when your leg comes to the floor. Take a breath, turn your head to the side, and collapse. Just let go. Breathe. Okay, let's do the other half. We've got another leg back there. Put your chin on the floor. Take a good deep breath, relax, relax your arms and hands. When you're ready to pull that leg up, inhale as it comes up. And then just breathe. Breathe the whole time that, air, that leg is in the air. Feel the leg that you're pushing with. Feel the leg that you're pulling up. But now feel your arms working. Feel your arms and shoulders and neck relaxed. Feel that. Hold it as long as it feels good to you. As long as you want to, exhale as your leg comes down. Take a breath when you turn your head, relax. Feel the effects. Notice in your back where you felt that. Notice in your legs, in your chest, wherever it is that you felt it. Notice it and breathe into it. Now that was the half locust. So what we're gonna attempt now is a full locust. Roll your body to the right and get your left arm under your body. Then roll back to the left and get your right arm under your body. And then push with your fist, make a fist in both hands and push with both fists against the floor and pull up both legs. Your chin is down, both legs are coming up as you inhale. Now you're just breathing and feeling that. Just feeling those legs up in the air. Breathing, noticing it, staying here as long as you want to, coming out when you're ready. When you get ready to come out, you're exhaling as your legs come down. When your toes touch, Take a breath, pull your arms out, turn your head to the side, and relax. Okay, a good counter pose to that position is the leg spread. Let's come up slowly and be seated on your mat and spread your legs out. Sitting down with your legs apart as far as it feels comfortable to you. Deep breath, exhale. Now we're going to take another inhalation and exhale as we reach for our feet. You're just reaching your hands down your legs toward your feet. Drop your head, relax your neck, let your head fall. Now you can push your legs apart a little bit if you feel like you're getting enough stretch. Or if you feel like it's too much, you can bring them back toward you a little bit. And just let your hands go down your legs as far as they want to. Stop anywhere along there. But where, when you get to where that's as far as you can reach, see if you can just drop your head. Just relax your neck. Let your head fall. If you can just drop your head, your neck is relaxed, your shoulders are relaxed, your arms are relaxed. Or you might be reaching with your arms. Drop your head though, relax your shoulders, breathe. Feel that pull inside your thighs, but nothing hurts. 
You want to be always using something. You want to be letting it relax. You want a muscle to relax or to be tensed enough to hold you up or to be stretched, but you don't want to hurt. But it's a, you do want to be using it and breathing. When you're ready to come out of that, just roll up. Let your hands come up your legs as you come up. Inhale, all the way up. Feel that. Relax your legs. Let your legs come close together. And then let's do it um, head to heel. Have the bottoms of your feet together again, but not up close to you like when we were doing the knee and thigh stretch there, out away from you a little, but you want to be able to get your arms out in front of your legs. So pull your legs back close enough to you that you think you can pull your elbows in front of your legs, but watch your knees. Don't, don't have them too strained to bother your knees. Take a breath. And exhale as you come forward like you're going to try to put the top of your head down into your feet. This, this is called the head to heel. So you're trying to get your forehead toward your heel. You're pulling your elbows to the floor with your head toward your feet. Just feel that pull. When you feel it, you've gone far enough. Up to the top, start inhaling, and then inhale all the way up until your head's up and your shoulders are back and up. And get a good deep breath and feel what you're feeling when you when you do that position. You notice we try to do one going forward and one coming back a lot of times on counter poses. So now let's just do the inclined plank. This is just a straight body. Got your hands sort of back behind you a little bit. Get your weight on your hands and your heels and stretch your body out. You want a straight body. You want to be looking up at the ceiling with the back of your head, even with the back of your shoulders and the back of your hips and your heels. Somebody could just put a plank back there and you would be straight. Your whole body would be straight. Just in a perfect incline. Someone said this is the opposite to the plank, and it is. I don't think we did the plank yet. We may have to do that. You're breathing. You're feeling this. This is the inclined plank. When you get ready to come out of it, lift your head. Be looking forward and set your body down. Take a good deep breath. Feel your wrist. Feel your hands. Feel your arms. Feel your legs. Deep breath. Okay, let's do some standing positions. Slowly coming up, noticing how you're getting up off the floor. Coming up slowly, inhaling as you come up. You're breathing, feeling the effects that from the things that we've just done. Let's, uh, let's do the toe twist. We're going to come up on our toes with our arms out in front of us. Just inhale as you come up. If you'll stay at a spot on the floor, that helps. As you exhale, see if you can leave your hips where they are and twist the top half of your body around to the side. You're bringing your arms and shoulders and your head around to the side but you still got your hip bones right straight in front of you. Your hips are back behind you, and those hip bones are right in front of you. You're breathing, you're reaching around to the side, just twisting at the waist as much as you can. And when you're ready to come back, you're inhaling, but don't let me rush you. If you like that, stay there if you like it to. All right, exhale, bring your arms come down. Be careful with these twisting positions because you want to be sure you're twisting at the waist and not twisting at your sacrum. Inhale when you're coming up. 
leaving your hips right where they are. You're not twisting them. It's just a twist. Exhale when you come around. You're breathing. You're feeling that. Noticing how it feels. Hold that for as long as you want to, but be sure you're breathing. And when you're coming out, you're inhaling. And when you're exhaling, your heels are going down as your hands come back. Now feel your body. Give your body a little praise. Feel your heartbeat, maybe. Wouldn't you need this? Your life's a little. And we're going to try a um, little harder balance this time. The arm and leg pull. Sometimes I can do it, and sometimes it's a little hard for me. Let's see how we do today. <clears throat> Let's get our weight on the right foot. Inhale as you pick up that left foot. And then exhale as you pull it to you. And then inhale as you raise that right arm. You can if you need to hold to something, hold to something, or just try to talk. <laughs> it makes it a little harder. Let's say when your head goes down, then inhale when you set your foot down. See what you can do with that. You may be still standing there. Good for you. <laughs> Deep breath. Feel it. Okay, let's get our weight on that left foot. Good, strong feeling. Inhale as you pick up that right leg. Exhale as you pull it back. Inhale as you raise that left hand. Breathe. Exhaling when the arm comes down. Inhale when you set your foot down. Get a good deep breath. Feel your body. Notice how both arms feel. Notice how your legs feel. See about your lower back. Good deep breath. Speaking of your lower back, let's do the chest expansion. We're going to do some folding now. Spread your legs apart. Inhale and exhale with your hands folded in front of you. Inhale again as you reach out in front of you and bring your arms around to the side. Look up at the ceiling. Exhale as you lean back. Clasp your hands together back behind you. Inhale as you straighten your back. Have a straight back. Bring your clasped hands up. Tuck in your chin. Your back is still straight. And now you're just bending at the top of your back. And then you're bending at the middle of your back. And you're feeling this all the way down, noticing where you want to stop. At any time, you just can say, this is my chest expansion right here. You've got your chest expanded, and now you're rolling down your back. But if, if you want to, you stop at any place. If you can't, you get all the way down to where you feel like your body's just hanging from your hips. You want, you want to just be bent at the hips. Let your head, shoulders relax. Let your back be straight, hanging down. Your arms are back behind you, maybe, or you may be holding your arms up, wherever they'll go. When you get ready to come out, keep your head down and think about coming out from the bottom of your back. And if you pull your shoulder blades together back behind you as you're rolling up, you're trying to like clutch your arms together behind you, you're going to feel a good massage on your shoulders, on those muscles in your shoulders. Inhaling all the way up. When you get up, relax. Relax your arms. Relax your shoulders. Relax your legs. Deep breath. We've got our legs spread out. Let's do the uh, revolve triangle. Inhale as you raise your arms. Exhale as you revolve. And then bend down. Reach for the floor with that right hand reach from the ceiling with that left hand. And anywhere along there, you can stop. You put that hand on that leg, but you want both of your, your hips are back behind you. You're not, you're not swaying your hips. They're staying straight. You're not moving your saddle. They're, they're straight behind you. You're 
reaching for the floor and you're reaching for the ceiling. But your hips are straight behind you. Feel that. You can look up at that hand that's reaching for the ceiling, or you can look down at that hand that's reaching for the floor. When you get ready to come out, just do a Superman thing. You just bring your arms out to the side and you feel as you come up. Exhale when you lower your fingers. And breathe for a minute. Feel that. Notice where you feel. Deep breath, exhale. Let's go to the other side. Inhale as you raise your arms. Keep your hips straight behind you. Exhale as you revolve. Reach down, reach up. See if your hips, your spine should be pointed right back toward the, back, the end of your mat. You're reaching for the floor and you're reaching for the ceiling. But your hips are back straight behind you. Look up at that hand that's up. Look down at that hand that's down. And then just keep your head, neck twisted a little bit, looking up toward that hand that's up there. Breathe. Hold that as long as you want to. If it feels good to your legs, you're getting a good stretch in your legs. If it feels good to your arms, you're getting a good stretch there. What about your neck? When you're ready to come out of that, bring that arm up. And inhale as you come up. And exhale as your hands come down. Feel that. Is it about time for us to do some deep relaxation? Let's do a deep breath. Slowly come down here. Slowly get your feet out in front. Slowly let your body come back until you're just lying back on your back. And when you get back there, let your body tell you what would make you comfortable. And because sometimes after moving around, your body doesn't want to be this spine. So just see what it feels like right now. You might want to hug your knees. You might want to do a bridge. You might want to just straighten your legs out spread your feet apart a little bit, put the backs of your hands on the floor, but let your body tell you what to do. Let your body do what it needs to do to get relaxed. And now, start making some suggestions to your body. Tell your body to um, relax your feet. Relax your toes. Your toes back to you. fist with your hands. Spread your left hands out. Feel that. You've got your eyes closed. You've got your back on the floor. You're relaxing. You're feeling yourself letting go. You're using your mind right now to relax your body. You're telling yourself some things to do. See if you could um, frown. Look me. Purse your lips. Let me break into a smile. Open your mouth a little. Put your teeth out right a little. Let your jaw relax. Breathe in and take a good deep breath. Exhale through your lungs, relaxing. Feel your stomach. relaxation, we do something to tell our, have a mental image of some kind, to tell our minds to relax. I like to go to Hawaii. Go, let's do, let's do that one. Let's just go to a beach in Hawaii and get in the sand and make a little place for your hips to be in. Get your shoulders into your mat good. Imagine that it's make it a little place in the sand. Feel that sand, warm sand against the back of your neck when you come up. 
in the place of purity. Here you go with the Hawaiian saying, May Father, Son, come with you. He would go back to the backs of the legs, to the ankles, because your heels are going into the wrong place. Now feel the sun shining on your body. Listen for the sound of the surf as the waves crash against the shore. Just live with it. Hear that? And you see the splash in the green. And you see you hear some people walking up the beach. The waves are lapping at their ankles. You don't hear some seagulls. I hear ships whistle off in the distance, but you are just relaxing. You have not a care in the world. Letting go, just being here. You begin to notice that you're just breathing in and letting go as you exhale. Feel yourself. Thank you for doing this yoga with me today. You can stay in this position as long as you like. You're at home, relaxed. You can just take a nap now if you